All right, what's up, YouTube, and welcome back to our live reaction here on the channel. This time, I had to do one for the NFL draft this year. I did do back in 2021. Be down in the description of me and my buddy. Forgot to do it last year. Totally passed by me and stuff, but um, I'm excited for this draft, obviously. Uh, I am an Ohio State fan um, and Patriots fan, obviously, uh, up here in Toronto. So I have uh, I have connections to both those teams, obviously. Uh, pretty lucky to, to have such uh, like uh, prestigious teams and stuff like that, but... Uh, the Pats, obviously, the last couple years. We've done live reactions throughout the seasons and stuff. I think, uh, you know, we're in a weird spot right now. But, you know, I'm tripping. I'm not tripping. You know, I, I'm i hoping for my boys tonight from the Buckeyes. Obviously, Jack Smith, Najiba, Paris Johnson, CJ Stroud. Uh, despite all the, the shit I've been hearing about low low scores on the co the cognitive tests and stuff like that. I don't really know. I just want to see what happens. Obviously, it's going to be interesting. It's a very unpredictable draft. I don't think any pick is 100% for sure like other, obviously, drafts. So... I'm very excited for this one, guys. We might as well though get right into it. Uh, Carolina is about to be on the clock, and uh, let's get started in Kansas City. So I want to I want to see who Kansas City picks tonight as well. So yeah, let's get it started. Let's go. I, it's probably Bryce, right? I like Bryce. He's a good kid. I'm a CJ guy though. Sorry. <laughs> Who's it gonna be? You know what? I, I love all football players. At the end of the day, you know, I want the best for these guys. Uh, Bryce Young, you know, like, I don't like how they pick on the height and shit. Like I said, though, I'm Ohio State fan all the way. Uh, the TV just fucking glitched. Uh, CJ Stroud, though, you know what I mean? Like, he's my guy, right? So, I'll obviously say he's better, but, I mean, hey, listen. Bryce, man, congratulations, you know what I mean? Going to Carolina. Carolina traded up for this pick. And I think, you know, I don't know. I hope, I hope, I hope it goes well. They got to build around him, right? Obviously, so... Guys, guys got great traits, great intangibles. You know, he's got a great arm. You know, he can run. There's just so many good things about him. So, yeah, I'm excited. Who's Houston going to take? That's what I want to know. Because all this Will Levis talk, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? Everybody's saying Will Levis. I'm hoping for my boy CJ, you know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, it was supposed to be, like, if people liked Bryce, it should have been CJ after. Things have been changing. But let's go. Come on, CJ. Come on. I'm hoping. I'm hoping a miracle. The Houston Texans select CJ. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go, CJ. Oh my god. Yo, actually. Bro. Yo, I'm so proud of him, man. I'm so proud of him, man. I remember I remember when they were recruiting him out of SoCal and and what he did for us. In Columbus, like, you know, you're emotional right now. You're emotional right now, you know? You know, I know, I know we lost to Michigan, you know, the twice with them and stuff, and people will hold that against them, certain guys, but I, I I love CJ, you know what I mean, and stuff, and I don't care what anybody says, you know? Just, wow, they actually picked him. Holy shit. Despite what everybody was saying, eh? Will Levis, Will Levis, Will Levis. You know, anybody put big money on that, big wrong, but... Man, let's go. Let's go. You know what I mean? So Houston just traded for the third more pick. That's all we know right now. Oh my god. God damn. I think they I think they're taking like Will Anderson, Jalen Carter, something like like some like sort of pass rusher or something. Well, I mean with that trade that was pretty shocking. Will Anderson? Has to be. Has to be. This is like wow. Or Jalen Carter, maybe. I don't know. Come on. Will Anderson. Will okay. Well deserved. Dude's a dog. They need to beef up that defense. You know what I mean? It was definitely one of the worst defenses I feel like last year, I want to say. I'm just, just kind of uh, remembering, obviously. But, uh, I mean, crazy, crazy start to the draft so far, man. Like, Houston kind of surprised you. CJ, I know, like, CJ was totally the guy they were supposed to go with. Like, as expected originally, but the Levis shit was getting in my head and stuff, but, um, yeah, they looking real good. I mean, like, I, I just seen the terms of the trade. They gave up, like, I think, like, three to four picks or something like that, but they got the 105, too. So, but yeah, Will Anderson, you know? Any any defensive player foul that is usually pretty good, so. <laughs> All right, who is it going to be? Everybody's saying Levis was going up the board. Are Colts taking him? They need a quarterback. Come on, let's get a surprise. Colts select Anthony what? Madison, what? Florida. Yo. Wow. 
Okay. Wow, so all this Levis talk, man, doesn't he, bro, all these quarterback needy teams don't even take him, top four? They were saying like, oh, he even has a chance for number one, a real shot for it. The betting odds were saying. But Anthony Richardson, wow, to the Colts. I mean, I, I kind of like it. I kind of like it, honestly. I, I was liking the Minnesota fit that people were, were going to, but he went high, man. They, they I don't want to say that's a reach, but I mean, like, good for him, though. Good for him. I mean, like, I watched him in college a bit. Um, I thought, you know, I seen nice flashes and stuff, but I mean, maybe that was because of the team. I mean, um, maybe like the, the negative parts, but I mean, I'm interested to see how that works out in India. I think it's very intriguing and stuff. So I don't know how Seattle going to go here. They might take a quarterback maybe too. Would they take Levis considering he dropped to replace Geno maybe? I don't know. All right. I'm saying Jalen Carter because all like the quarterbacks went except for Levis, but maybe him. The okay. Devin Witherspoon. Devin Witherspoon. Okay. Illinois. Okay, I get a nice corner out of Big Ten. Big Ten. Let's go. Um. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, maybe they didn't really need the pass rush, I guess, but uh, obviously the secondary obviously can use uh, they, they could use a lot of help. You know, what I mean, just uh, just just um in general, obviously, but yeah, and I was good, honestly pretty pretty interesting pick. I wasn't. It just, I, I'm sorry, it's just crazy how much Will Levis has fell considering all the hype before the draft. I'm telling you, I don't, does this happen like every year or something? You know, like they just, they're just playing and stuff and then like that, and then the NFL teams don't even do it. So jokes. Jalen Carter. Maybe Paris Johnson? Oh, oh, shit, yo, last minute pick. Go Bucks. Uh, you know, I was kind of hoping he slid to us at. 14, I believe, but, uh, you know, happy, happy for the man, dude. Like, he, he put in a lot of time with our Buckeyes, and uh, he protected our quarterback so many years and stuff. So, I mean, I'm happy for him. Go to Arizona. Now he can uh, now he can try and protect Kyler, obviously. So, um, yeah, I mean, that, that's a majorly dysfunctional organization, but, I mean, listen, listen. Just protect, just protect Kyler. That's it. I feel like they can't pass up Jalen Carter. But they might take Christian Gonzalez for, like, PR purposes just because they need a clean rep. Ooh. Tyree Wilson. Okay. Okay. I, I honestly didn't expect that. I didn't expect that at all. Damn, this whole draft been crazy. Like, I like. I mean, they, you could always use, I guess, like an edge rusher. But I feel like, I don't know, man. Like, at that point, Jalen Carter would have been the better, better move, in my opinion. I don't know. I don't know, man. B. John Robinson. Dude, like, if it happens, I swear. This <laughs> kid's nervous. I'd be nervous, too. <laughs> With the eighth pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, yep. the Atlanta Falcons select B. John Yo! I... <laughs> like, I mean, B. John's sick. No, no lie. But, like... Don't they need help on the offensive line, the defense? Like, oh, oh my God, man! Like, I mean, this guys who play fantasy football, shout, shout out you guys. Every, almost everybody does nowadays, anyways. But this guy going to be crazy fantasy wise. I wonder where he's going to be going in drafts. If you play dynasty, he's definitely going number one rookie draft. So I'm excited to see where he goes in my league this year. It'll be interesting. Um, definitely a lot of hype for him. Definitely a lot of hype for him. Uh, and uh, congratulations to him for real, man. Like, dude's a beast, man. He looks like a workhorse back. So he'll be he'll be good for them. Just I mean, just like, is, does that solve the issues? I don't know. All right, Philly traded up one. It's because Jalen Carter's on the board still, and I'm guessing it's because they want to pair him with Jordan Davis again. Yeah, it's gotta be. He's fell. It's gonna be. There we go. There we go. He drafted in the top ten. After all, after all the issues in the off season, um, the tragic stuff that happened, the accident and stuff. Uh, you know what? Jalen Jalen gets uh, drafted by Philly, the, the NFC champion. So that's kind of crazy. Who, who's it gonna be? Darnell Wright. Okay. Okay. Protect J Justin, bro. My boy Justin. 
Needs to be protected, man. Way too many sacks. I hope Darnell comes through, man. Like, he's got a... Yeah, I mean, he, need, he needs help, man. He needs help. It was so bad this year. It was so bad. He's running for his life, man. Oh, my God. It was it, it was awful. So, I mean, yeah, uh, Tennessee, you know, they had a great year, right? And uh, he right there with that. You know what I mean? I'm hoping... Uh, man, I'm, ho I'm hoping he's good. You know what I mean? I, I'm... Chicago really stepped it up for me. Uh, this past offseason, trading that one pick, you know. Um, and now it's going to be like, hey, you know, what are they going to do with these picks? So, at least... At least so far, uh, so good. Then they got even more draft capital by just trading up. So, you know, I, I ain't uh, by by just trading down. So that's just super ideal and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm always going to be rooting for Chicago just because of Justin, for sure. So, got to get something on offense, for sure. I don't think they take Levis because they got Malik last year. It's a little bit waste. Oh. Peter Skaronsky. Okay. I mean, hey, you can't go wrong with O line. You know what I mean? One hundred percent. You still got Derrick Henry there. You know, maybe help out Malik, try him out. You know, maybe give him another, maybe a year or two, keep him as like a project. Um, yeah, I can't go wrong with that. You know, not much else to say. You know what I mean? Northwestern, another Big Ten school. So. Oh. Wow. Okay, running back. Wow. Ah. I. Uh, I don't know about that one. They just signed David Montgomery. They got DeAndre Swift, which I think, you know, his time's near an end. Um, but they just got David Montgomery. And you gave Jameer Gibbs. Like, is, was running back really what you needed? You know what I mean? Like, fuck. I don't know, man. I think they could have got some defensive pieces, man. That defense was so bad last year. I don't know. I don't agree with that. I don't. I don't. I don't agree with that pick. I like Jameer. I like Jameer, though. He's, he's good. But I think, like... No, I don't. Uh, I don't know if uh, that was the right call to make. I think for Detroit, I think you need a defense. I'm hoping they get another. Like I'm hoping they use at least their second rounder on like fucking some some defensive linemen. You know what I mean? Some like safeties, the uh, other DBs, whatever like corners. All right, Packers. I have a feeling they're gonna take my boy Jax. I want the Pats to pick him though. Oh. Lucas oh, Vaness. sorry, Lucas. Oh, Lucas Van Ness. Oh, okay. Wow, okay. You know, it doesn't hurt to go defense for sure. Um, I would have thought they would have, you know, went for something uh, for Jordan Love, but I mean, doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt. I mean, don't have much of an opinion on it, but um, yeah. I mean, Pat's up next. My Pat's. Uh, they're do they're obviously gonna take like a like a tackle for sure, which I honestly like doesn't bother me, but. With my boy from Ohio State, Jackson Smith and the Jibba sitting there, bro. Like, oh, man, it would hurt. It would hurt. But, I mean, I'm used to it. We don't draft fucking Buckeyes. We never do. So, okay. So, they traded it. Uh, we got an extra fourth out of it, and we moved down a couple picks. So, I'm okay with this. I was really mad when I didn't know the conditions, but I'm, 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 not, I'm not pissed right now. I think Pittsburgh's going like maybe defense. Broderick Jones, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Broderick's fucking offensive tackle. I fucked up there. Okay. I mean, yeah, no. I mean, any offensive line. You know what I mean? They used to have an amazing offensive line before. They got old, retired, blah blah blah. Got to rebuild that again for Kenny, especially. So. Um, yeah, I mean, smart pick. I mean, I, you could tell they really wanted him and stuff on the board and stuff. And I guess we didn't consider him. Meanwhile, I thought we were going to go tackle. So, okay, please not Jax. Pick in the 2023 NFL draft, the New York J.E. God. God Oh, okay. Okay, defense. Okay, Jackson, we still got a chance. We still got a chance. Okay. Um, yeah, it doesn't hurt, obviously, for the defense. You know what I mean? I mean, hey, like, I, I think they wanted a like they wanted a tackle, and I think they already went already. So, I mean, uh, Will McDonald will do, I guess, for the Jets. I mean, I mean, I don't think they really care. They're they're they ain't tripping. They got Aaron Rodgers. So, please, please don't Jax. Come on. Emmanuel Forbes. Okay. Mississippi State. I was waiting for another corner, dude. Uh, Gonzalez is still sitting there, by the way, which is crazy. Uh, kind of like almost like a freak athlete. Or, like, not freak athlete, but, like, he's got, like, traits, obviously, height and everything. 
But, uh, okay, man. And Will Levis still sits there. I guess they're going to roll with uh, Sam Howell as, like, I guess the, the project for now in terms of, like, young quarterback. But, uh, I mean, yeah. I mean, we still got a chance for Jax. Let's hope we actually freaking pick at 17. Come on, please. Oh. Okay, I'm not mad. I'm not mad with it, though. I'm not mad with it. I just thought we get my Buckeye boy. Um, he looks pretty damn good. He looks pretty damn good. It's it's actually like um, a pick where it's like not like say, necessarily like the safe pick. You know what I mean? It's a guy that you know he's got a lot going for him. You know he may not be the best core corner in the in the draft, right? Like the guy that went early uh, out of Illinois. I can't remember his name right now, but he was probably better. But like this guy has more probably potential, I would say, to you know like in terms of just like his his speed, his hands, his like way to read obviously um just him off coverage everything like just his height like you know he's gonna be very intriguing I, i'm actually excited with this pick I'm, I'm excited about that not not mad right now we got detroit come up next as well too all right lions if they don't go defense i don't know okay there we go there we go there we go oh my god like yeah like they need that. I mean, like, last year, obviously, Aiden Hutchinson, uh, he plays on the edge, you know, don't mind grabbing a linebacker. Um, they definitely got to grab a corner. I mean, like, honestly, Christian Gonzalez could have been good for them, for real, too. But, I mean, maybe maybe it was a guy they were looking at, and then once my patch took him, maybe that was different. But we have Tampa up next. I'm feeling, I'm feeling they could take Will Levis here, realistically. I think this is where he's going to go. Yeah, yeah. Wow, he's still falling. This is crazy. Holy shit. I mean, like, yeah, you can't go wrong with defense, but this is crazy right now. Holy shit. Even Henry Hooker is supposed to go. I feel like he'd go to Minnesota, but, I mean, I don't know. I think Seattle probably going defense. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, my God, going to Seattle. I mean, hey, hey. That's a good spot for him. Love you, Jax. Man, missed him this season, you know. We had him in spirit, obviously. Got hurt against Notre Dame. Tried to come back and shit. Almost like a year off, if you think about it. You know, going to Seattle. I like that. I like that for him. Him and DK. Um, if Tyler Lockett's still there. I like it. I'm not bad. Good organization. I'll take that. I'll take that for him. Go Bucks, as always. The Los Angeles Chargers select. Come on. Quinn Johnson. Quinn Johnson, okay. Okay, another receiver off the board, finally. They're going to start to fall now. Um, yeah, no, I, I think it's a solid pick. I think Quinn, uh, he's got a lot of potential. I mean, uh, definitely not, in my opinion, uh, the best receiver in the draft. That's Jax for me, but uh, he's, he definitely going to help. I mean, he looks like a receiver. He looks like a dog. He's somebody who's going to definitely help Justin Herbert and that offense for sure. Come on. What are we saying? The Baltimore Ravens select Zay, Zay Flowers. Flowers. Now the receivers all win, right? That's it. <laughs> Deserving. This guy, you know, out of Boston College, you know, man, he, he paid his dues. And uh, first rounder on draft night. That's crazy. I mean, Baltimore needs somebody. I thought Jax was going to maybe go there. I thought they'd maybe trade up or something like that. But, I mean, Zay should help. I mean, not the best case scenario. But I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited for them, obviously. Today's a good day for Baltimore fans, no matter what. Lamar re-signed and stuff like that. Huge deal. So, I mean, I think everybody's happy in Baltimore no matter what uh, this weekend, for sure. The Minnesota Vikings select Jordan What? Whoa, receiver spree. Damn. I, I mean, I thought, like, you know, this guy should go first round, right? There you go. Wow. Okay, I guess I'm guessing that's because of Thielen. Thielen being gone, but I'm mean, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Deontay Banks. Deontay Banks. Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, not too, not too, too far away from home. Deontay, obviously, another Big Ten product. The Buffalo Bills select Dalton Kincaid. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, finally, tight end goes. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be him. I know, I know, Michael Mayer's around too. I think, yeah, Dalton was probably gonna go first. Pretty good, pretty good. No, no lie, no lie. The Dallas Cowboys. Mozzie Smith. Okay. Yeah, I know they were kind of talking about that too. Hey, 
Can't go wrong with defense, okay? Especially on that front. Can't go wrong with it. Anton Harrison. Anton Harrison. Oklahoma. Man. Crazy. I mean, yeah, I mean, that makes total sense. Trevor Lawrence, right? You got Trevor, and I think, like, you got to try and protect him when you can. Um, and and that's honestly a good pick. Honestly, I mean, like I said, don't know too much about Anton's game, but I think, uh, like I said, it doesn't hurt to get – I keep saying it. It doesn't hurt to get defense and offensive linemen. The Cincinnati Bengals select Miles Murphy. Miles Murphy. Okay. Help that defense out, beef it up a little bit, you know? Okay. Brian Brzee. It's a lot of defense. I mean, Clemson, like, even Clemson, obviously, guys, obviously, on the front, like, recently, going, like. Nolan Smith. Yeah, he was sitting there for a while. He was sitting there for a while. So, they got the Georgia products, for real, obviously. Got Jordan Davis. And then now you got, obviously, Nolan Smith and Jalen Carter, obviously. So, I like that. I like that tandem. I see why they were kind of excited in the draft room and stuff. He looks hyped as fuck. Oh, okay, okay. Obviously, they're pretty happy with that one. Obviously, home crowd and everything. And that ends up pretty much the draft. So, thank God. This is like, it clocks in at just under, like, just under five minutes of being a four hour friggin' first round night one of the draft. So that's pretty much it for me. I wanna pretty much uh, get this over with. So uh, just quickly, um, what I loved about the draft today. Um, I actually loved it, it was actually one of my favorite ones in a while, honestly. Um, 2020 was pretty stressful and stuff for me because Justin Fields and everything. Um, and like the Pats needing a quarterback. Um, but other than that, this one, this one was great. It was a lot of unexpected shit. Um, I think what I liked the most though about it was the set, okay? And I know every year it's different, it's been different. And then they've really made the NFL draft such a better experience. And um, I live up in Toronto, so I'm gonna try and go to Detroit next year because it's gonna be in Detroit. So uh, I wanna try and go and take in my first NFL draft, but it looked fantastic. I love how the draft room was in Union Station in downtown Kansas City and you walk through like kind of the doors. Like we have a Union Station in downtown Toronto. I can't even imagine if they did the NFL draft, something like that. We don't, first of all, we don't have any space downtown, but uh, to hold all that stuff, but it would be pretty cool. Like we had the draft room in that Union Station lobby because I thought that was such a cool touch and everything. And uh, yeah, it was pretty awesome. But with the draft, obviously with my Buckeyes, I was super happy with them. Obviously, CJ got picked second overall. I was so happy with that. Uh, Paris Johnson got picked pretty high too, uh, six to the Cardinals. And then Jackson Smith and Najibba uh, went a little late, but he went to Seattle. I thought that was kind of an interesting uh, landing spot. I never thought that was going to happen. And uh, definitely one I am uh, excited to see how that works out and stuff. So, um, yeah. And with the Pats, Christian Gonzalez we got. So, I was very, very happy. Uh, with that, I think we got a steal. As much as I wanted Jackson on my squad, I think that was a steal. I swear, like some people had him, uh, like maybe like pick six, seven, or something like that. In the whole draft, he fell all the way down to 17. So I thought that was great. He's a he's a, he might not be the pure best corner, but he has the potential to be the best corner in the draft. Uh, he's a freak. He's literally a freak of nature. He's you know he's tall. Uh, he's got super good hands and everything. So I'm excited, excited, right? Oregon stuff like that. Uh, very satisfied with that. And then I think the only other thing I want to say is Will Levis. Oh my God. Like I never understood why he was going up all the draft boards for everybody. Everybody's been talking about it. Uh, apparently he was plus 400 to be forced overall in the draft tonight. Didn't even get drafted in the round. Unbelievable as he's passed upon, passed upon. Anthony Richardson went fourth overall. Uh, and Hendon Hooker not even drafted at all yet either. Just crazy. Uh, did not really expect that. And I think... Uh, um, you know, it threw a curveball for us and stuff like that. And I'm not a big fan of Will Levis or anything like that. I have no problem with him, but uh, I just thought, you know, it was a little high and stuff. But I still think, you know, I don't know, borderline him and Anthony Richardson are kind of the same level in terms of, you know, like, I think value, in my opinion, obviously. Like, Anthony Richardson's got that Russian value and stuff, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. He'll get drafted tomorrow. I would like to say in the freaking second round. Jesus. If he doesn't get drafted in the second round, like, Crazy, and the fact, dude, if anybody had money on Will Levis tonight getting drafted, oh lord, my god, you must be upset, Chase. Um, but uh, yeah, no, but pretty much that pretty much wraps it up. I am super tired, guys. Uh, let me know down below what you thought of this year's 
night one of the draft. I just wanted to react to the first round um, and then I will upload this. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the montage of me reacting to every single pick uh, throughout it and stuff. I tried to try to bring the energy. Some picks are just like, hey, yeah, whatever, you know, uh, good pick, stuff like that. Not really much else to say, but uh, we had some good ones throughout stuff especially the early ones and stuff. So if you guys did enjoy this live reaction, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on that post case bell down below as well. Probably we'll do the NBA draft, uh, other live reactions as well. Stay tuned for that, doing TV shows and stuff like that. Um, doing TV shows too. So if you want to check any of that stuff out, it'll be up on the channel. But with that, very good draft. Hopefully um, we have a good last two days and stuff. I'm definitely going to be following. I'm going to be kind of busy, but definitely going to be uh, looking at Twitter and stuff and seeing who gets drafted. Uh, the Pats got a ton of fourth round picks and stuff like that. So it should be uh, it should be fun rest of the weekend. But anyways, guys, appreciate y'all for tuning in though, as always. And I'll catch you in the next one.